Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz video recap. Today is January 23rd, 2015. And this is the search news we covered at the Search Engine Roundtable at scroundtable.com. First up, got some feedback. The lighting wasn't as good, so I bought a little LED lamp. I don't know if it's going to help a little bit. The lighting actually today is pretty good outside, so I don't know if that's actually helping. It's over there shining in my face a little bit. Also, I was told the orientation wasn't as good, so I went back to this orientation with the screen behind me. And I'm also told the sound quality is not good. Um, so, I don't know, I'll probably try to buy a mic or something. Uh, although today my, I have a little pain in my mouth, uh, my tongue hurts, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Okay, first up. Google started sending mass scale warnings to webmasters via Google Webmaster Tools about their sites not being mobile friendly at all. This is going to sites that are completely not mobile friendly, that are aware that their sites are not mobile friendly. Here is an example of the notification. It basically tells you 100% of your web pages are critically mobile, have critical mobile usable, us, usability errors, and it goes on to say, these pages will not be seen in mobile friendly by Google Search and will therefore be displayed and ranked appropriately for smartphone users. We talked about this last week, why the mixed languages, whatever. The in interesting thing is actually being mass sent. Usually when Google does this type of stuff, there's gonna be an algorithm that comes out in a few weeks, a month or so related to this that actually impacts these in greater detail. Um, again, so if you're not mobile friendly, take these warnings, make your site mobile friendly. Um, there's lots of easy ways to do it as well as Harder ways. Okay, so next up, um, so a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, we actually talked about how John Mueller from Google said that theoretically, and I discussed this in more detail in the video, that you do not need to disavow links to get out of the penguin penalty, that you can actually use get better links. And because it's an algorithm, it looks at the total of the links, and if obviously if you're, you better your links, and then Google's Penguin algorithm says, you know what, these links uh, as a whole are better, I don't know what that weight is or those percentages are, then you could build your links, build your way out of Penguin by building links. Now, theoretically Google said that, theoretically that's how the algorithm works, but really, you're fooling yourself if you try to do that. John Mueller was asked that question again, and he worked in more detail. He said in more detail that that's not the right way to go. He said, if you know you have a problem, you want to fix the problem. And there's tools to fix it, either by removing links, disavowing them, and so forth. He says, don't try to build, let me quote you some things. This is pretty funny. And I documented pretty detailed what he says. Um, he said, and let me quote him, and the other aspect here of gating links from high quality editorial website sounds a lot like you're building links again. You're building even more unorganic or inorganic links to your site. So if you know that you have a problem with links, you're not going to solve it by building even more unnatural links. And he goes on to this, you know, it's not a feasible approach. He said, you know, building more inorganic links to improve your inorganic links situation is not going to save you. It's going to get you to more trouble. So you definitely want to take a look at that video. I actually document all the different things he said in that video with links. So you don't have to waste your time actually going through the whole video. You can just go right to what he said and how he said it. Because the way he said it is obviously more important than actually what he said. Or sometimes not. Um, very early on, this is very, very early. There is some early chatter about a possible Google algorithm update. I wouldn't be surprised if there was or if Google is testing some things. It doesn't seem like it's actually happening yet, but it seems like it might happen in the next few days, maybe a couple weeks or so. We're actually due an update. It hasn't been, we haven't seen any type of algorithm shifts and major algorithm shifts since early December, and that was around Penguin. Um, so it'd be interesting to see. I don't think Google's going to sit on their hands much longer and just wait things out. The holidays are well over, and I'm sure they're going to get back to work and push things through to see how they can improve their search quality over time. Um, this is interesting. So, as you know, back in, uh, I don't know, several months ago, Google announced that HTTPS, SSL, is now a small, tiny little ranking factor in the Google search results. So sites that have HTTPS throughout their website, those web pages will actually rank better in the search results, slightly better in the search results than somebody else. Um, it's a small ranking factor. 
So people tested it. I moved several this site over. I moved several other sites over. A lot of them actually moved stuff over to HTTPS. And now they're like, hmm, well, actually, my rankings haven't changed. They're exactly the same. Well, that's probably because it's really a tiny ranking factor. And Google said that. Google, will Google switch up the dial? I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's interesting because now people are saying, you know what? I tried it. It's causing more of a headache for me. It's causing more money. It's um, there's mismatch errors. It's just more time consuming for me to manage. I'm going to go ahead and move back to HTTP. It's not worth it anymore. I'm going to move back. And that's a trend where I'm seeing a little bit from webmasters that have switched to HTTPS. They're saying, you know what? It's too much of a headache. I'm switching back. I'm personally not going to switch back. I'm going to stay. I've already moved. It is what it is. Um, it doesn't hurt, I don't think. Um, I don't think it benefits necessarily, but it doesn't hurt. Um, so it's interesting to see people actually do that. It's a shame, obviously, in terms of Google's initiatives, but webmasters are, you know, doing what they can to go ahead and uh, make their lives a little bit easier around that. Okay, next up. So Google's news publishers are complaining about traffic declines. So this is probably related, I think, at least to the, in the news box, which launched um, back in October um, and also launched globally back in November. So over the past few months, publishers, is January now, so publishers are actually saying, you know, I'm noticing a decline in my traffic from Google search. What's going on? And the real reason is that in the news box that launched back then. Um, not only news publishers are included in there, but lots of publishers are not, lots of websites are included, even Reddit, social media, YouTube, things that are not approved by human editors are being put in the, in the news box, which we discussed a few months ago. And now because of that, news publishers are no longer getting priority in those boxes and they're getting less traffic from Google web search because the in news box could include non-news, Google, non-Google news publishers. Um, I think that's the main issue. And a lot of publishers are not happy about that. Um, so as you know, Google, sorry, Google deal with Firefox was dropped. Yahoo is now the default search operator in Firefox. That happened in November. And I think that started to roll out with the latest Google Firefox browsers. And the search, the search share metrics are out from Comscore and different search, search share providers. And they're showing that Google lost like 1.9% or so of their search market share specifically to Yahoo. And it seems like it's related to the Firefox deal. So now Google's going, hmm, what can we do? So they're going doing social media campaigns and saying, here's how you change in Firefox um, your default search provider. So you just go to Firefox, you hit the preferences, and you go ahead and change it. Um, and it's very easy to do, but they're actually doing a social media campaign to actually promote people to switch their Firefox or default search provider from Yahoo to Google. And we'll see if that makes any traf- uh, change at all or people will just keep it. Yahoo is testing um, a Google News, I'm sorry, a Google search result design. So let me bring this up for you. This is spotted by Ruben Gomez. So you can see here is the design. This is the top bar. Take a look at that interface. This is what it typically looks like, completely different with the navigation, the vertical search on the bottom, on the left-hand side versus across the top. And if you look at Google's search results, Google has it across the top with the same red underlying indicator as Yahoo's testing. So that's Google, that's Yahoo testing the, the Google search results design. And not only is Yahoo testing it, but Ruben Gomez actually caught that Bing is also testing it. See, there's another test that Bing is trying and Ruben actually caught that. We'll see if it actually makes a difference. And because these search engines are constantly testing things, why not test what competitors are doing to see if it actually makes a difference or not? Some webmasters are reporting that their linkage data um, is blank or not available. So some people go to their links to your sites, there's no data available. This is not new. Google has typically had problems with their Google Webmaster reporting. I personally can't replicate this on any of my sites, um, but there are several webmasters who reported out in the past couple days that Google Webmaster Tools reporting is either lagged, delayed, showing less data than it should, or whatever it might be. Um, I assume this is going to fix itself over the next few days, like it always does. And finally, Bing is testing a in the news card as well. Um, so it's actually a spendable card. So if you see news about Apple, it's like a box that Google might have. And you can actually click the plus or the down arrow and it will expand the news with a link to more news about Apple. Um, so that's Bing testing another thing out. So that pretty much covers the search buzz video recap. My name again is Barry Schwartz and this is the search news we covered over at the search and roundtable at seroundtable.com. Today again is Friday, January 23rd. And if you have any feedback, about the video in general, feel free to leave it and hopefully it will improve over time. Um, I haven't really changed the format in a while, um, so hopefully you guys aren't getting bored. 
Um, but I feel this is a very good way for me, at least, to go ahead and recap the past week of news. It's always get, good to get the bigger picture of what's going on in the past week. And then I do those week, those monthly Google Webmaster reports, which also gives me a bigger picture. And then hopefully at the end of the year, I do one big um, recap of what happened over the past year. Um, so if you have any feedback, definitely send it over. And I appreciate you listening to this. Everyone have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next. Bye.